Yeah. Okay, you're still rolling. Hi guys, I'm at the Roundhouse this evening with Jeff Cohen and Rita Taylor, and we're here at the Roundhouse Songwriters Circle. It's very exciting. What's happening tonight, guys? Well, we've got um, a group of amazing songwriters coming to um, talk about the songs that they've written, um, the stories behind those songs, and um, hopefully inspire an audience. Um, yeah. And that's what I like about songwriting circles because you, know, you get a whole, it's, it's very natural, isn't it? Then we hear the stories behind the song. Tell us a little bit about that, Jeff. How, how does it work in terms of understanding the song? Well, I remember back years ago when I lived in New York, I had saw a round in Nashville and was so blown away by it. We started one in New York back in the 90s. And in, in Nashville, it's kind of a way of life. You get three or four songwriters in a row. You would do a song, Reba would do a song, I would do a song, and then we'd just go back in a circle. And the cool thing about it for me is you get to hear the stories. And that to me is the gold. A lot of times you'll know a song you've heard on the radio, and you see the girl or the guy who wrote the song, and they're telling you the real story behind it. And you're like, I have no idea that that was what, oh wow, now it makes perfect sense. So you have different answers coming in each time you do it. How do you find the answers? Well, we have obviously singer-songwriters, um, the beauty of this round, we have singer-songwriters, the faces behind um, the songs um, you know, that we know. And you also have important voices, very important voices, brilliant voices of um, the co-writers, or the writers of the songs, whose um, you know, hits we have grown, grown to love. Um, and we don't always know who those people are. Um, sorry? No, 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 I was going to say, what, what's really cool is we've been able to, in the series, combine bunch of songwriters, certain songwriters who are also artists. Like for example, we had the Shires in the first one. Brilliant. We had Sarah Darling in one. And then you have like Fiona Bevan, who is also an artist, also known for her songwriting for other people. We had Sasha Scarbeck, who wrote Wrecking Ball for Miley Cyrus. We had Jim Duguid who wrote New Shoes for Paolo Natini. We had James Walsh from Star Sailor. But we've had an, we've had an eclectic group and we've tried to represent different genres. So we have a bunch of, like in the Shires, we have 20 tonight. You know, the Wandering Hearts want to play next one. And uh, so we try to get a nice representation of country music, of pop music, and it's just kind of a nice blend. Yeah, and I think that's um, representative of London. Um, and actually, uh, I think obviously the reason why we're here tonight, Jeff is a major catalyst um, <laughs> in making this happen. Um, I met Jeff out in Nashville. I went to the Bluebird Cafe, my first writing round experience, and I was blown away. As Jeff said, um, really was one of the most enjoyable live performance experiences I'd had in a really long time. Because I think in this day and age where we're flicking through iTunes and you know we're bombarded with production, these rounds really strip everything bare, and you're able to connect with the real meaning behind the music. Um, and I wasn't aware of anything really happening like this in London. I thought well, we need to. And so exactly. it's really been exactly. a matter of, yeah, um, after putting together contacts, obviously Jeff has hundreds, <laughs> so it's very easy to pull these together for him. Um, and what's, really yeah, nice, what's, together. What, what's really super nice is, I mean, I've watched now, I went to the first C2C about six, seven years ago, and saw a real burgeoning country music scene here, and a burgeoning songwriter scene. And as Riv just said, it, we thought, let's give an opportunity for some of the songwriters to come play some of their songs, but also, you know, with, with, with organizations like, like Country Line, people are starting to hear more about a lot of these artists. And now, this is an opportunity to hear some of the songwriters behind the songs and still get an artist or two in there. I like that myself because country is such a growing genre, especially in London, you know, it's growing every year. We see C2C, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And you know, sometimes we just listen to the artists sort of in the charts, whereas here in the UK, because we're having all these intimate gigs, as you say, we can hear more about the context of the song and behind it. And I quite like how the musicians all play with each other. Sometimes they jump in on each other's songs. Do you guys have that sometimes? As Absolutely. Well? It depends. I mean, most people would prefer if I don't sing on their songs. <laughs> <laughs> and I've accepted that a long time ago. But you're, you're so right. I like, like you have someone like Jeff Trot who's playing tonight, who played guitar in World Party, Tears for Fears. He's Cheryl Crow's guy. You know, he can hear one thing, jump right in. Like I'm sure Alex, the guy who's playing with 
Victoria tonight or Tom who's playing with Twinnie, you have super, some, some songwriters, you remember, have been in bands and they've been super musician types. And then there's some songwriters who know how to play well enough to get that song across. Like to me, I would every day rather hear Reba or The Shires or Wandering Hearts or these artists sing songs I wrote. I love playing and doing these shows, but I like sitting in the audience and watching them sing. So everyone's different and you get a blend of all that. And I guess everybody's watching it from a very different perspective as well. You know, someone who's not a musician watching it will be looking at it very differently from someone like yourselves who actually write songs and perform songs as well. So, you know, going forward, how do you see this kind of event taking off in London? Do you see more of this type of thing happening? Like, what's been the reaction from audiences? I've certainly seen a few more rounds popping up over the last year, so which is really encouraging. Um, so the Roundhouse has been an amazing support for us here. We're going into the second year of hosting this round here. Um, so in terms of the songwriting round of the Roundhouse, we hope to continue that, that going um, and keep it a really regular thing. Absolutely. Jen. I mean, we've, we've sold out every show we've had so far, and the Roundhouse has been wonderful. And also, when you tell someone, hey, do you want to play a round at the Roundhouse? Everyone's like, oh, the Roundhouse. Yeah, of course. You know. <laughs> It's got such a great reputation, yeah. Exactly. It's a, you know, we were just uh, just before this interview giving a tour of the facilities for young people and yeah. the amazing work that the charity does. But this space as a venue, I'm just looking around, it's such a nice intimate venue, especially perfect for this, as you say, like that people don't have their phones out, people are just in the music. They just wanna I think that everything. is another reason why the roundhouse is so perfect. Like not only is it um, you know, the best love uh, performance venue, but it is that foundation as well for inspiring young talent um, and so hopefully we can bring that together in these rounds and it's an inspiring night as well as an entertaining one. One thing that was a great idea that was Reba and Jane's idea, Jane from Brown House and Reba, because they developed so many young artists here, Reba and Jane said hey why don't we get one of the young artists to open every show so it's been it's been great we've had we've had a, uh, someone representing the Roundhouse and their programs come up and open each set. And it gives them a chance to get in with, you know, some of the, the Sasha Scarbecks of the world, the Jeff Trotts. What a networking opportunity <laughs> for them as well. Well, we wish you the very best of luck with all the forthcoming performances. I'm looking forward to hearing tonight. So guys at home, make sure you check out, uh, come down to the Roundhouse, come down to the future events. And yes, yeah, stay tuned on Countryline for all future Roundhouse events. <laughs>